Marissa carried Benson's lifeless, cold body into a McDonald's along with her boyfriend. The two grabbed a bite to eat. Then they left the dead baby boy with his mother, Heather, and her sister. Heather's sister called 911 the moment she realized Benson was ice cold to the touch and his lips had turned blue. Benson Yuj Yim Xiong was a two-month-old baby born to Heather Gardner and Jamie Xiong. He was a happy baby who smiled most of the time, especially when someone tickled his chin. Benson lived with his parents in Wisconsin. Heather usually left her two children, Benson and his older brother, Jathan, in the care of their grandmother when she went to work. But the grandmother soon moved to California. Heather searched for a good babysitter for her children. One of her co-workers recommended Marissa Tietzort. Marissa was 28. She came from the same hometown as Heather. Heather hired Marissa as her babysitter. She began leaving her two children in her care. Heather felt that Marissa could be trusted, but she was wrong. Heather suspected that Marissa abused her children. Heather noticed scratches in Benson's mouth after picking him up. She rushed Benson to the hospital, but the doctors told her that Benson didn't have any serious injuries. Heather continued leaving her children in Marissa's care. Little did she know about Marissa's criminal history. Marissa had a total of five children, and she had lost custody of her first four children. Social services didn't take away Marissa's fifth child because they weren't aware that she had had the child. Marissa was also pregnant with her sixth child. Social workers removed Marissa's children from her care after her ex-boyfriend filed a restraining order against her on grounds of abusing their two sons. Marissa was a child abuser. Marissa had a pattern of abusing children under her care thereafter. A three-month-old baby suffered a skull fracture while in Marissa's care, but Marissa wasn't charged. Another 11-month-old baby suffered face injuries whilst Marissa was babysitting her. Marissa claimed that the baby fell off the couch. However, the doctors concluded that the baby's injuries resulted from something more gruesome. Marissa was charged with hurting the baby. On October 18, 2018, Heather left Benson and Jathan in Marissa's care. Marissa later texted Heather, informing her about a local news site that had posted a story about her. The article warned the public that Marissa wasn't supposed to be alone with children because of child abuse charges that had been filed against her. Marissa begged Heather not to let anyone know she was watching her two sons. The police received a frantic phone call from Heather's sister late on the night of October 18th. The sister stated that Benson was freezing cold while his lips had stuck together and turned blue. Heather attempted to do CPR on Benson. The police found Heather and her sister in a laundromat. Benson lay on a table, and Heather was still pumping his little chest with hopes of reviving him. The police discovered that Benson wasn't moving. His legs were rigid and bent at the knees. Heather told the police that she had left her two sons in Marissa's care. Then, Marissa and her boyfriend later dropped her children off. Benson was wrapped up in warm winter gear. His little hat covered his eyes, and he was already positioned in his car seat. Marissa told Heather that Benson was sleeping. Heather and her sister headed to the laundromat. They took Benson and Jathan along. The two sisters soon noticed that Benson was too cold and his mouth was stuck shut when they picked him up. They called the police. Benson was rushed to the hospital, but doctors couldn't do anything because he had died hours prior. This meant that the two-month-old died in Marissa's care. You killed my sister's baby, Heather's sister texted Marissa. An autopsy performed on Benson's body showed that he had suffered three separate blunt force injuries to his head. His tailbone had also been broken off and displaced using huge force. The police made their way to the apartment Marissa shared with her boyfriend. Marissa was nowhere to be found. The police tracked down Marissa's phone to a local hotel. They found Marissa and her boyfriend there. Marissa cracked during her interrogation. Although Marissa initially denied knowing anything about Benson's death, she soon confessed that she knew the baby was dead. She didn't clearly state how the baby had died, but she claimed that she noticed Benson was cold to the touch. Marissa stated that she didn't call the police because she was scared. Marissa dressed Benson in his snowsuit and placed his body in the car seat, covering it in blankets. She didn't tell her boyfriend that Benson was dead when he returned home from work. Marissa and her boyfriend went to McDonald's, taking Benson's cold and deceased body with them. Then they left Benson with his mother. Marissa was arrested and charged with Benson's murder. Marissa's defense argued that Marissa wasn't guilty because she suffered from brain damage caused by substance abuse. But Marissa was found guilty and sentenced to 37 years behind bars for Benson's murder. She also received three years for child abuse in the other child abuse case of the 11-month-old. The 11-month-old's mother stated that she trusted Marissa, not knowing that she was going to abuse her baby. I never once thought to look her up because she was a friend of a friend, 
She had a baby as well, so I figured it was safe, she stated. Marissa's sentences are to be served consecutively and followed by 20 years of supervision after release. She is a monster, Heather stated. You as a parent know your child the most, so if you think that something is wrong, no one is going to know better than you.